to Area 51 and a half on YouTube. Nick, this is an interesting thing for us to do because we are doing an unboxing video. Yeah, one of our first. This yeah, is awesome. Look at the size of that. Yep, it is a big box. It is definitely, definitely a big box. I should tell you a little bit about the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> what's in the box? What's in the box? All right. Well, we know what's in the box uh, in seven, but hopefully that is not what is in the box here. No, this is, as you will recall, on Area 51 and a Half podcast, yep. I had mentioned that I won a major award, much right. like the old man in The Christmas Story. But this is better. It's yeah, not, this isn't a lamp leg. This is not a leg lamp. This is from Tweeterhead. If you're not familiar with Tweeterhead, Tweeterhead is a company that does maquettes. Now, right. Or statues, if you will. They do pop culture figures. One of the first ones that they... This, the company started in 2012. Okay. And one of the first licensing agreements they had was everybody's favorite Google friend, Elvira, Mr. Oh, the Dark. lovely. So they have just these gorgeous statues and busts that you can order. They're very high-end. They're not for your average collector yeah. by any means. Uh, but they've got like a Masters of the Universe line. They're just phenomenal pieces to look at. Yeah, that He-Man have. bust is gorgeous looking. Absolutely, right? So, just before Christmas, Tweeter had had a contest. Mm -hmm. The contest was that you were supposed to give your favorite Wonder Woman quote and what it means to you. Right. That kind of thing. So, I happened to see it, and I thought, you know what? I'm, why not? I'll enter it. I, I know Tweeter had. Tweeter had um, has done the maquettes for RuPaul's Drag Race. Right, so okay. The, so, the contestants, when they were leaving RuPaul's Drag Race, they all got to have a statue. For a couple seasons, they did this. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's, you know, RuPaul with the uh, drag race flags and the pink right. outfit, you know. I mean, can you imagine? There's only a handful of those out there in the mm -hmm. world, right? You can't order those. Those are just for the contestants. So anyway, Tweeterhead has been around since 2012. Mm -hmm. My favorite thing about all the people on <laughs> Tweeterhead is that they have uh, Didi. The, um, Didi is one of the um, people, and they are the... Um, how do they put it? Almost like the universal dictator, but it's not. Yeah. It's not really that. Dee Dee is a cat. Dee Dee is the master of them all. Oh. <laughs> and you must bring her treats. But anyway, I digress. So uh, I, this is the quote that I, I chose. I think it's from. I think it's from. Could be from Wonder Woman 1984, but I'm pretty sure it's one of the Gal Gadot Wonder okay. Woman iterations. So I chose this quote because it spoke to me. My favorite quote is, now I know the only love, that only love can truly save the world. So I stay, I fight, I give. For the world I know can be. It's not until we remove the male gaze and the sexualized misogyny confinement of her creator that we can truly see the heart, strength, power, integrity, and true beauty of Wonder Woman, not only as a princess, but a leader fighting uh, fighter, warrior, and and more. Yeah, it's just she's. This is why I love Wonder Woman because she truly embodies that idea of fighting for truth and justice for people who are worn down. Yeah. for those who are are like she is a a superhero for everyone. Yeah, you know, even though that Superman is supposed to be the savior for the world mm -hmm. and even though batman is fighting out of the darkness and fighting that darkness wonder woman is the heart of it all yeah you know and it's kind of sad that her origin started in you know misogynistic fantasy yeah but she has grown out of that and has reclaimed herself so just um, probably around the 21st or 22nd, I got a message from Matt Wessel mm -hmm. from Tweeterhead. He says, check your DMs. So I checked my DMs, and they congratulated me on winning the contest. Nice. And so this has arrived. This is my Tweeterhead Wonder Woman. Let's not waste any more time, Nick. Let's get into unpacking yeah. this. Oh, wow. Now, first thing that we see... Is another box. Is another box. No, it is... Uh, this wonderful 1.6 scale maquette of Wonder Woman. Let's um, be very gentle here yes. because I have to figure out where I'm going to place it. It is it is big. Let's see if we can't 
gently lift it out. It's prepped by the bags there, by the bag end. Look at the size. Wow. Like I thought this was mostly packing, but that's pretty much as big as the box that they sent it in. Wow. Um. So first and foremost, let's just have a, a, a look at the, the box itself. Let's spin it around because here's the front of it. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, so I mean, we got a 1.6 scale maquette of Wonder Woman uh, holding a sword from the tweeter head, of course. Now let's get right into opening this up. We want to be very gentle because I do want to save the box. I don't generally win a lot of things. Are you ready? Yep. Uh, count of three here. One. One, two, three. Very tightly packed, of course. All right, we'll just set that aside for now. Bring that forward. I'm going to try to very gently cut this. Ah, oh, you've got to love styrofoam. Those wonderful sounds that it makes. We're just getting the tape here. Nick, you want to just gently take that side down there. Okay, so here so, she it, comes in pieces. Yep, here's Wonder Woman herself. Just hold that up. Hang on, let me just get this out of the way. So this is a high poly resin, as you can see. So there's the basic statue in and of itself. Obviously, it's got the little um, poles that will go into the base. Yep. There's her magic lasso. This that is a gorgeous sculpt, right? She is lovely. All right, so let's so get the base out. Looks like she has a couple of choices for yeah. There's, and they're interchangeable. Why don't you just set that aside over there for now? So here's the base, and Nick, you got to feel the weight of this. It is. It is not light. By any, by any stretch of the imagination. Oh, wow. That's gorgeous looking. Holy crap. Yeah, so this is... That's amazing. This is a statue of Ares, I believe, who she has fought numerous times. So this serves as the base. You can see that we've got these wonderful flame sculpts that are almost translucent looking. You know, so it looks like real flames. Some styrofoam on them. So Wonder Woman sits just there. It's pretty easy to put together. Just got to line it up. I don't want to press too hard. That's, you're probably more expert at this than I am. I think that I'm, no, that's, that's not as far as she goes. Hang on a second, can I? Yep. There, we, there go. we go. There we go. Again, pretty easy to assemble. Uh, and we have different choices. So the nice thing is she's got her sword. She's got a spear. She's got a shield, I believe. Yep. Oh. So let's put the shield on first because I think that's pretty much going to remain the constant. So I just want to actually show the shield a little bit closer because the angle that it's on, you don't see the shield initially. There we go. And then you have your choice of sword, spear, or battle axe. And we will open each one up and show you. So there's Wonder Woman 
with the sword. Looks pretty good, don't you think? I really like that. That is awesome. And now we have the battle axe. So what's neat is that you can choose which one you'd like to, to see, right? Yeah. And then we have the spear. Just set these down here in front for now. I'll give you these bags. So look at the sculpt on this. Look at the fierceness in her eyes. Look at the, the way that she's just standing there for all that truth and justice that we know Wonder Woman can can stand for. She is not taking any guff. The detail on this, like just in the tufts of the hair, and um, it, it is amazing. Yeah. We'll show you the back here. Just spin that around. Even from the, the rear, you see that they've got the... Wonder Woman W in there, you know, with her classic um, Americana, red, white, and blue kind of. The sculpting on the muscle is exceptional. Yeah, every little detail is here from like white stripes on her boots, uh, just like you said, the detail in the hair, the detail on the Ares statue that she's standing on as if she's defeated him. Look at all the, the, the fine lines that are here, Nick. Like from the skulls, the skull on the sword, the sculpt of the helmet, the horns, everything is just perfection. Uh, they, they, don't, they don't play around. Like, no, they look, don't. Look at the, the movement that we get from, yeah. from the ribbon that is on the spear. Like, this is a nice action piece. It is. It really is. This is beautiful. Yeah. Tweeter Head does some good work. This is awesome. And even, like, the creases in her suit, like, just the, the detail that you wouldn't see in other pieces is there. Yeah, the stance. I mean, like, and this is this has some heft to it. I mean, I'm going to have to find a very special place uh, in the house to, yeah. to uh, display her because this is just... Um, gorgeous and it's probably now the most valuable thing in the house because this the range on this is somewhere between 500 and 700 dollars yeah um and, and like i said these, these are for the the very high-end collector of course uh there, there's something that you would want they're a conversation piece no matter what line you you choose but this is just a phenomenal gift and i thank you very much tweeter head for for uh bestowing this this wonderful award on, on me. Thank you so much. Aliens, we'll see you next time on Area 51 and a Half.